Oh, I've got freaking chills. Welcome, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel 2. When we last left off this series, a full-scale civil war erupted, and the Imperial Liberation Front was led by Crow Armbrust. I saw some familiar faces in there, some new faces, and I'm really excited to see where this story goes. Oh, and you can get a backstory if you really want to. I just kind of gave it to you. New game. Uh, you know what? Considering the difficulty I had last time... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go easy. Loading clear data from the original game will allow you to obtain special bonus in this one. There's a cross-save feature! Yes! That is so cool. Let's just do friggin' normal. Oh my god. That is so cool! I was bewildered. I was impatient. I felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. But getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a life for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the Academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. The time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us, to the people we met as we traveled across the country. The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light. And somewhere, a part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come. But all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days, or anything else I've come to treasure. Resound, resound, O voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil, and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. 
I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame. This game takes place immediately after the events of the previous game. Already the visuals look about like the same as the last game. <sighs> Are we really doing this? We know who this is. That's Reen Schwarzer. Where am I? Why the black-haired boy shtick? We know who this is. How did I get here? I feel like I was fighting, and then... Am I dreaming? Of course not. Hi, Celine. <gasps> so you've finally woken up. Uh, you're... And I wish it were, but this is no dream. This is reality. Cold, cruel reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that, because you haven't got time to waste. His core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself, Ashen Awakener. Monday. It's actually Tuesday when I'm recording this. Ashen Awakener? What are you talking about? Wait. What's going on here anyway? What is that thing? Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. Never mind that. What are you? Ugh, knock it off. How am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with question after question? I like this cat. You're a chosen one. A chosen one. Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great power? That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great knights that appear in Erebonian legends. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster, while at others, they were the cause of harm and disaster themselves. Interesting. And the being in front of you is one of them, a divine knight known as the Ashen Knight. The Ashen Knight? Valmar? Wait, I remember when I called him. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. But he's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction has one under their control, too. Crow. That one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? That's the one you fought, and lost against. I want to know that myself. Why did everyone... crawl? <sighs> he had me fooled, too. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Azure Knight's Awakener? He's obviously had plenty of experience piloting it, too. He must be pretty dedicated to his cause, whatever it is. Ugh. 
Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista! Take me back to my classmates! You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Azure Knight. Didn't I just tell you that? And despite that, he strained himself flying all the way out here afterwards. Even when he was barely hanging on, he prioritized your recovery over his own. You exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with him, you know? Damn it! Isengard range, on the northern side of the Nortia province. Nortia? Huh. I'm surprised you were able to work that out just from a glance. I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountain. Hey, where are you going? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know how to do that. Thank you. It's just literally the same thing from the last game. My stuff's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, my his looking oh, right there on the map. A sword. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I kind of figured this out. Oh, just all my courts are unlocked right from the get-go. And I have all the DLC, so let's just pull those out. Casuals too? Interesting. Sarah and Toa. Wait, is Toa gonna be a playable character? Estelle, Joshua, a striped kitty set, and a black bunny set, glasses set, designer, weird, angel, devil, and good god, there's a lot. Tobal, and Claire, they're playable characters. Sharon, interesting. Yeah, Toa's definitely gonna be an Angelica, awesome. Elise, his sister, interesting. Alfin, evil Mishy, 10th anniversary set. Useful accessories. Wow, they're giving me a lot. This is because I have the premium edition of the game, I guess you could say. Reen's unspeakable costumes. A thoroughly embarrassing costume set for Reen includes costume and two accessories. World Rejector in Midnight Heaven. As well as Elisa. Okay, I've got to see that. That actually looks kind of cool. Again, it's got a very Celtic look to it. That's a Celtic cross. A bunny set. Oh, Lord. Again, that actually looks really cool.
And that is immediately less cool. As is that. But that actually looks really good. And there's the schedules from the first game. Wow, that looks very casual. Okay. And we have a monster. Yeah. Okay, I know how encounters work. I want to try to knock it around and get behind it. Zero arcs. Yeah, I figured out how the turn order works. I know how the bonuses work. My turn. Oh wow, the music's. I. Okay. It's not gonna let me take care of. It's not gonna let me take advantage of the zero arts. This is the tutorial fight, after all. Kinda wish it, I could my skip turn. it. Oh wow! I just have all my crafts from the previous game. Here I go. And all I have is flame bolts, because I don't have any quartz. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Interesting. Not bad. The monsters around here. Shouldn't be a problem if you can keep that up. No, I can do better. I need to hurry up and get back in fighting form. Wonder if I still have the S-Craft, or if I'm gonna get a new one. The Monster Guide. Now view the active voice record. I wonder what's going on over at the academy now. Hey, slow down a minute. Well, only one way to find <laughs> out. If I keep going this way, I should be able to get out of the canyon. Excuse me. be thinking of leaving him there out in the open, are you? <sighs> hey, say something. Are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what else was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, you'd be dead by now. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. If anything, you should be thanking me. You're not wrong. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at some point. Sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back in Trista. A month? You can't be serious. There's no way it's been that long. Oh, sure, don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with the Ashen Knight. And I do mean completely. There was a real chance you could have died. What? It's a miracle you were able to walk around like this a mere month later, and it's all thanks to him. He used what little mana he had left to heal you rather than himself. Why does everyone pronounce that differently? I say mana, because that sounds better than mana. And just so you know, I've been here this whole time, watching over you. That's not creepy. So I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity I'm getting from you. Definitely not creepy. I... This can't be. It's been a whole month since what happened near Trista. Over a month there, I should mention. But then, what happened to the others? 
They're, well, Makius is currently running a resistance operation with Elliot out of the capital. I know that for a fact. I read the bios. Oh yeah, the the steel book for the steel case version, the one I have. The what is that? Decisive edition, I think it says up there. Actually comes with a nifty little book that explains the characters and what they're doing. Hey, wait a go oh, for heaven's sake. Minimap, I know how the map works. Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you, PlayStation, for telling me the file is the update file is installed. Another one. And this is here to explain arts. Every time you strike. There we go, that's what I wanted. Our chance. Double advantage. It. My turn. This activate. Yeah. Here I go. The music's really nice. Safe for now. A U material. An orbital charging station. That usually means there's a boss fight up ahead. A little weird to see one out in the middle of freaking nowhere, but I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm gonna be honest here. I like them use the battle music in this one. Down a little, you know. <sighs> <sighs> you could at least respond. Okay, I need to grab a drink real quick. I'm getting a little dry, I guess. I don't know. Grab a vitamin water because I like it. It's the not my favorite. It's the dragon fruit one. Bought a large case of these at Sam's Club, so it was the triple X one, which is my favorite, a mango one, which I don't care for, and dragon fruit, which I also like. Oh, that's good. Okay. I are totally professional. I didn't even bother to check and see if Rain still has a S craft. Treasure! Tear. Okay. Now I have a healing art. Yes, now I have the S-Craft back. Azure Flame Slash. Bring it on. Let's move. Which means I'm gonna go for this. So I can face it. Oh wow, that's a much larger field than it used to be. I think. Well, fuck it. Gather on my blade. That's that. Let's keep moving. Okay. Wait! Sorry I didn't speak Green's inner thoughts there. I was taking a drink. Hey. Hey. 
What? Wow, that's interesting. Is that because of the previous game data? Or is that just a sign that Trails of Cold Steel 2 is going to be harder than the first game? asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but better late than never, I guess. Just what are you, anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. A minion. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Or JRPG. Anyway, every legend has an ounce of truth in it. Well, you know what they say. Truth is stranger than fiction. Or my quote. Every legend has an ounce of, ne of truth nestled within. Tales grow taller with time, and it's hard to find the truth within the fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Well, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? Yes and yes. She's still a novice, but she is a witch. Yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her, though. We did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Guess we were right. She's a major. Her being a witch? It's surprising. Then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. I guess there's gonna be there's gonna be more treasure at Susie left. You gotta get your act together, buddy. I know you're probably still groggy for your month-long nap, but come on, man. You're better than that. Open. A proxy puppet. I know what that does. It's basically kind of like a focus sash. It's a free hit. Hope you're not gonna be all dark and broody. Princess Alvin and Prince Oliver too. Yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, I hope you're not gonna be all dark and broody the entire time throughout this game. Celestial bomb. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath and keep calm. I 
can't be the only one to get that vibe. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Because in the last game, it was far more impactful. This time I can barely hear him say it. And I can really only hear the tail end of it. Could it be? I knew it! I've been here before! Master Ka-5 brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. I forget what art of swordsmanship that's based off of, but it's based off of a real technique. It may very well just be Eight Leaves One Blade. His full name's Master Yoon Ka-5, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Was the last time I came here it must have been I don't know five years ago in fact if I remember right my hometown of your mirror is only a few hours away oh really well that's convenient I suppose it is almost like it's a JRPG or Wanna something there? we might be able to get there by sundown if we hurry yeah as soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. What was oh that? boy. My guess is it's it feels a... like it's coming closer. It couldn't be. Panzer Soldat. Or a giant monster. A magic knight. Or time? It's a magic knight! You know what that thing is? The magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! Golem, eh? Damn it, what's one doing here? Golem things? Ugh, we need to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own! Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Oh, this was a short game, wasn't it? Fifty bucks I'm not getting back. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Oh, I believe it. I have protagonist armor, don't worry. This will be fine. Won't be easy. At all. My turn. I think a bird just shit on me. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty effective. Uh, yeah! My turn. It's the only thing I can think to do. Huh. And I'm stealing that crit, baby. Yeah, I can barely hear him say Azure Flames. Oh, you got crafts. Let's move. Arch may not be the most effective way to do this. Huh. Definitely not! I better get a heal in. While I have Let's a chance. Disactivate. Huh. Let's move. Let's see how it does with physical damage. Doesn't seem to have a resistance to it, but I could be wrong. Not in the slightest. In fact, that's actually very effective. 
last move. Yeah. Let's move. Okay, let's go for another heal. This activate. Yeah. I'm kind of scumming this. My turn. Burn to ash. Fall. I mean, his voice is definitely deeper, and it works. And ooh, that may have been a mistake. I've made a mistake. This activate. Yeah. My turn. This activate. Yeah. I understand this isn't the most interesting go. thing to watch. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, Rain. Yeah, I need that heal. Here I go. Delaying it won't do me any good. Uh, yeah. My turn. I may have to resort to healing items. Yeah, it's like he whispers as your flame. My attacks are barely putting a dent into it. To you here too. I told you this would happen. Get back. Could you have done that at any time? Celine. <laughs> I can't lose. Not here. Call upon thine I'm power. Not seeing everyone again. Not today, buddy. Wait. Cross Crusade? Yeah. Yeah, that's Cross Crusade. See you later. Cross Crusade. Toval? Or is that Joshua? He's gonna be really mad when he climbs out of there. Are we? You safe? mean if he climbs out of there? <laughs> if is good. Who did that? Reen! Reen! The girls! <gasps> it is Tobel. Made it without a second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness? And Tobal? And... Rain, stay right there! Her hair looks blue to me, not black. Am I the only one that sees her having blue hair? You look so exhausted. Who's she? Mason. It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. 
I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Green, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're all right. But how did you know I was here? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power? Tina Orion, Lecter is back, Rufus is back. I guess Milliam has a sister. This is going to be good. Maybe it is your room. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains. <sighs> Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? Finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake.
Elise! Um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? <gasps> Elise? Oh, I'm so happy that you're awake! You don't know how scared I was! There was all that chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you! We had no idea where you were! I'm just so... so relieved! I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. <gasps> no. No, you don't need to apologize. I knew that somewhere out there you were alright, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter-pated as ever. Alfin, that is his sister. P pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, Your Highness? I'm really not dreaming, then. You're so silly, Reen. I really need to find a point to end this episode. I would have started the sec the next second part by now, but I didn't get the chance. I would have Game. thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your Highness, please! <laughs> Rendur. Well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been I fast am. asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I just, this is my first day off of work. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Tova. I work in a, like I say, I, like I say, I work in a distribution center, and I hate buckets. I really hate buckets. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Toval. Aww. Seriously, man. So you're finally up. I'm guessing that's the father. Dad. Oh. Yes. Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. Baron Teo Schwarzer. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind. First and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do from here on out after that. The Hot Springs Paradise. Yeah, in very cold polar regions like this, there are volcanic hot springs. Or thermal volcanic energy, natural... I, how long can I say this? Underground volcanoes heat springs that surface. Lucia Schwarzer. And Teo Schwarzer. I knew his father's name. It's been a month since the so-called Noble Alliance occupied Heimdrall. At present, they have effectively all they have effectively all the control of the nation's major cities under. You know what I'm saying. The Imperial Army tried what they could do to stop the advances, but the majority of their forces have already been defeated. I had a feeling that was the case. If nothing else, at least you two are safe. We were at St. Astria's when the capital was occupied, so we were caught up in the chaos. It was only thanks to Tobol appearing and rescuing us that we're sitting here now. What were you doing there, Tobol? I got an urgent call to escort Her Highness and Miss Elise to safety. As soon as I got that, I booked it there as fast as I could. I'd never turned down a personal request from Prince Oliver, you know. 
Prince Oliver ask you? Well, that explains it. I know it's Oliver, but Oliver sounds better, so I'm going to say Oliver. He kindly escorted us to the capital, successfully evading the Noble Alliance attempts to pursue us. And roughly ten days later, we were able to reach Ymir. I'm just glad that you all made it here safely. Unfortunately, it appears His Majesty, the Emperor and Crown Prince Cedric, fell into the Alliance's hands. The official story is that both of them have been taken into protective custody, so they're both rumored to be safe. However, Prince Oliver's whereabouts currently remain unknown. There's not even a confirmation that he's safe somewhere. That's more than a little worrying. You needn't be so concerned. I'm sure he's perfectly well. He made it through the chaos of Libero last year unharmed. As you know, he's always been a resilient one. Yeah, that is of the Trails of the Sky series, which takes place a year or two before the events of the Trail is a cold steel series. As for Cedric, father and mother, I'd like to believe they're alright too. I'm I'm sure they are, Your Highness. I'm worried about the Imperial family as much as anyone, but if you don't mind me interjecting, Reen, I imagine you're probably most concerned about what happened to Trista and Thors. Luckily for you, we've managed to get some information on the front. Tell me everything you know. What happened at the Academy? Is everyone alright? I don't think this will come as much of a shock to you, but both Krista and Thor's Military Academy are completely under the Noble Alliance forces control now. And they were both taken over not long after the war began. No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't want to believe it was true. What about the students and our instructors? Honestly, wish I had more I could tell you. There are rumors they that they residing being <sighs> There are rumors that they're that they resisted being occupied as long as they could, but not much more than that. Try not to let concern get the best of you. It's too early to presume the worst has happened. <sighs> Word has it that a number of students and staff are unaccounted for. And the Noble Alliance is still trying to find them. That means some of them managed to escape. Well, rumors are rumors. Still, your classmates and Sarah have more than gotten their feet wet at this point. I can't see them being taken down easily. The odds sound pretty good if you ask me. What say you? What else can I say? I would have to agree. Celine? I couldn't tell you where she is right now, but Emma's still alive. That's guaranteed. You can tell? I'm her familiar. And so we've got a link of some kind between us. If anything were to happen to her, trust me, I'd know it. All I know is that she's alive, though nothing else. Anyway, there's no point assuming the worst when that's every chance that it wasn't happened. So try keeping faith, alright? Think of it this way. You're probably just as worried about... Ah, my god! I'm stammering, I'm stumbling on my words, I need to get better about this! You've got a point, actually. Safe and sound. You may very well be... <sighs> but you're hardly in peak condition. Take this chance to stay home for a time and recover your strength. And while you're here, why not go pay everyone a visit? The whole village has been eagerly awaiting your recovery. Prologue, The Depths of Despair. 
Can I please get a point where I can have some control? Event markers, I know how those work. Thank you. Again, that actually looks really friggin' cool. Looks less cool with the World Rejector and Midnight Haven. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I figure out what the hell is going on. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.